Now, uh, Karen, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about a movie theatre in Utah, a very, very beautiful theatre. It's very beautiful. Um, and uh, it is threatened with, with demolition. Yeah, this is. I'm afraid you have to forgive me for bringing this up again, because I'm quite passionate about The more I learn about this theatre, the more alarmed I get. Um, the, the Utah Pantages Theatre is now earmarked for demolition, as the mayor has no interest in saving this historic building. It was considered the Versace of theatres at the time, which I think is quite lovely. It's built in a, an Italian Renaissance style. It has a Tiffany glass skylight, um, and it has seating for 2,300 people. Now, Apple has gone and taken a theater from 1927, which is actually you know much younger than, than the Utah Pentages, in, in L.A., and has reopened it as a massive Apple store and re restored it completely. And it looks incredible, and it's getting a lot of, of foot traffic. Mm -hmm. So um, obviously Utah is, is not California, but I think the fact that this is a unique theater in, um, in, the, in the western part of America, it's alarming that people are letting this happen. America is, California also has been accused of uh, getting rid of really beautiful uh, buildings that are irreplaceable. And I just wanted to make this comparison and make people aware of what's going on. Absolutely. And there is, in fact, a huge campaign to try and save this theatre, which is all over social media. Yes, it is all over social media, but they still haven't reached 10,000 signatures, which is concerning. And they need, they really need, um, actually, there's there's an, uh, an American called Nicole Curtis, who is a professional, uh, I think she, she goes on television, talks about saving historic buildings, and she has gotten involved. So fingers crossed.